Welcome to this Dreamweaver tutorial. My name is Daniel Walter Scott and I'm a trainer here at Bring Your Own Laptop. This training course is for people new to web design and new to Dreamweaver. Okay, in this topic we're going to look at hyperlinks. Now what a hyperlink is, a hyperlink is normally just referred to as a link, okay, but the technical name is a hyperlink. So um, all it is is a way of linking one page to another and that can be internally, okay, so it can be a page um, like a navigation, so going to your contact us page, your about us page, to your product pages, um, or it can be a link to another site, so a link to an external site, and that's what we're going to be doing in this exercise. We'll look at doing navigation in a later tutorial, but in this one, let's look at doing a hyperlink. We're going to turn this part of the website down here where it says site designed by, and it's got my name. Okay, I'm going to get it to link to my website. Okay, so when people click on it, it'll jump out to my website. Okay, so first of all we need to do is highlight this bit of text. So I've highlighted the words Daniel Walter Scott. And there's two ways of doing it. I'll show you the first way, which is the nice simple way. It's under Insert, okay, and under Hyperlink. Okay, so if you click on Insert, click on Hyperlink, okay, we'll get this little window. Let's put the text through nice and easy. Now the link, this is where it's going. Now I want mine to link to an external website. And what we need to do is put in the full URL address, which means I need to put in all the junk at the beginning, which is http colon slash slash dub 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 dot. Okay, so you need to make sure all of that goes in. Okay, sometimes it's easy just to copy and paste from Google's URL. Okay, or um, yep. Yeah. So what we're going to do in this one is let's get it to go to bring your own laptop. Okay, it's where I work as a trainer and target. Okay, target, you've got a couple of options. You've got two options. You've got blank and self. Self will mean when somebody clicks this link, the page will reload on top of itself. So the old one will disappear and the new one will appear. And that's really good for internal navigation. So once again, clicking on your product pages or your contact up to us page. What we want for this one is we want blank because what this will do is when I click on this link, it'll actually leave the current window there and open up a separate window. Either open a, in a separate window or in a separate tab. Now in Google Chrome and Firefox, it opens up in a new tab and in Internet Explorer and I think Safari as well, opens up a brand new window, which is, you can't control that, okay? But, um, so you've got blank or self. If I leave this empty, okay, put nothing in the target, okay, it will default to self. Okay, but so for this one, I want it to go to blank. Now the title is really important. It's, two, it's important for two reasons. One is for screen readers, which means that people that are visually impaired, they use a program to read websites. And it, what it does is it reads them um, what's going on in the page. And it'll get to this link, Daniel Walter Scott, and read the title. And this will be descriptive, okay, telling it where it goes. So this is gonna be my web design company. So say somebody really likes this lovely, beautiful design I've done, okay, even though it's some times in Roman and black, okay, when they click on this link, um, it will take them to this website, and this is the, this is the stuff they get read out to the screen reader. Now that's one reason. The second reason is that Google uses this to help understand where, where it's off to, okay? So what you want to do is make sure you use good keywords. It's good for your um, SEO, your search engine optimization, okay? So make sure you use clear, good keywords describing where it's going. Now in this case, because it's going to our Adobe training site, this would be a, a, not a particularly good title because Google's going to follow this link and be expecting a web design company but find an Adobe training center. Okay, so um, make sure you use good titles in there. Now we don't use access key and tab index, let's click OK. Alright, so you can see here, um, my text has gone a lovely shade of blue and it's underlined. Okay, that's the default colors for a hyperlink or just a link. Now we're going to look at styling uh, fonts later in um, tutorial series. So at the moment we're just going to have to leave them as the blue and the underline. So that's one way of doing it. The other way of doing it, okay, a hyperlink. So the first way was under insert, okay, it's under insert and hyperlink. I'm going to show you another way and this is the way I use, it's a little quicker. But when you're learning, the insert hyperlink option is, uh, is, is nice and simple. What I like to do is say I want to turn this word into a hyperlink. I'm just going to use the properties panel down the bottom here. So I'll zoom in a little bit. So you can see the properties panel has um, much the same features. 
Okay, so it has link, title, and target. So the link's going to go to, remember, http colon slash slash dub 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 dot bringyourownlaptop.com.au. All right. The title is describing where this goes, so it's going to an Adobe training company. And the target. Anybody remember? If I leave it blank, what does it do? That's right, it goes to self. Okay, but in this case, I'd like it to go to blank, which means it's going to open itself up in a separate window. So that's uh, the exact same way as doing it up here, okay, except it cuts out one, line, one, one more step. You see it's gone blue. Where is he? He's gone blue, he's underlined, so they do the same process. Now if you have to edit any of these links, say that you decide that um, this Daniel Walter Scott here is going to the wrong place, there's, um, you can't use the insert hyperlink to edit it. Okay, what you have to do is edit it down here in the second way. So you can see there's my uh, URL, there's my title, and there's the page. So I'd go through and adjust it, say, to our New Zealand website. So instead of .com.au, go to .com.nz. Sorry, .co.nz. Okay, so let's preview it. So I'm going to go to File and Save. Let's preview it in a browser. So you've got two ways. You've got File, Preview in a browser, and you get to pick from here. There's another way here. See this little globe? Okay, this little globe here. This little globe here will... Um, does the exact same thing, just saving a little one extra little click. So I'm going to use Preview in Chrome, zoom out. Okay, you can see I've got a link down here, I've got a link over here. So if I click this one down here, this one should go to Bring Your Laptop New Zealand. There it is, lovely. Okay, but you can see it's opened it up in a separate tab. There's my first tab, there's the second tab there. So that's the use of blank. Blank will open up in a separate tab. If I did self, okay, let's go through and show you in Dreamweaver. I'll change this link here, instead of blank, I'll change it to self. And we'll show you the difference. So I'll preview it again in the browser. Okay, so this one here opens up a new tab. This one here, replace the tab that it was at. Okay, so it's up to you whether you want it blank and self. So blank is really useful for external links, and self is, um, tends to be used for internal navigation. Hey, look at me. All right, jump back into Dreamweaver. So that was a tutorial showing you how a hyperlink works. Okay, so normally just referred to as a link. All right, that's the end of the tutorial. Let's get on to the next one.